Good morning, everyone. It's Lee Henson, president and founder of Agile Dad, and it's time for today's edition of the Daily Stand-Up. So without any further ado, let's get started. It's Friday. We made it through another week. That means today is your non-Agile topic of the week. And I thought it'd be fun to talk about the top 10 ways to feel free in 10 minutes or less. So freedom. Let's get, let's get on it. Let's see if we can feel free in 10 minutes or less. Coming in at number 10, it's our, it's our top 10 countdown. So thank you, Casey. Coming in at number 10, have fun. That's right. It sounds so easy. Just find a way to indulge, make work fun, make home fun. It doesn't matter. You know, Try to find ways to incorporate fun and laughter into everything you do. Because when you incorporate fun into what you're doing, it's going to help you feel a sense of freedom. It's going to help uplift those burdens. Coming in at number nine, see the bigger picture. I think sometimes context plays a big part into how intensely we view a situation, right? So if you look at yourself and remind yourself that time heals and lessens stress and strain on you, then I think that when you consider the big picture, you're going to look at things and say, wow, there, there's a bigger goal in play. There's something else in hand here, and that's going to help you lift some of your stress. Uh, coming at number eight, be true to yourself. Uh, a good friend of mine, Fred LeBlanc, he's a drummer for a band called Cowboy Mouth. He would always say, believe in yourself and everything is possible. You need to be true to who you are. When you're doing the right thing and you feel good about what you're doing, you're setting realistic expectations. Those are all times for you to feel free and to feel uplifted. And I think that if you are true to yourself, that that's going to give you the best, the best results. And of course, number seven, love and accept yourself. Powerful, powerful advice. You know, I remember one time, um, you know, I was in a, a market and there was a small child and uh, they, they turned and they looked to their parent and they were like, oh man, he's fat. And I sat and thought to myself, you know, that's part of my weight loss journey. That was pretty hurtful to hear somebody say that, but I thought of it as brutal honesty. But then I, I thought about looking back at the child and saying, no, 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 you don't understand. I'm fat. You're ugly. I can lose weight. Ugly doesn't change. But, you know, I thought that might be inappropriate, but you get where I'm going with this, right? That if you are just loving and accepting of who you are, whether you're at the beginning of your journey or the end of your journey, no matter where you are in life, love and accept the person that you are. You've been given all kinds of talents and gifts. Thrive on those gifts. Find out what they are and build on them. Because the exciting part is you can become even bigger and better. Well, not bigger physically, smaller and better. Well, you get the point. You can become better no, no matter what your goal is at what you're trying to do if you just love and accept who you really are. Number six, maintain a, a sense of humor. You know, I can tell you right now, there's so many times I've encountered people who are the most drab, miserable people on the planet. They're the people who have zero sense of humor. Zero, none, nada. And, and it's just everything in their life is taking seriously. And if you don't take things seriously, then you're not going to be successful in life. Oh my goodness, please. There has to be a healthy barrier between the harshness of life and your perception of everything that's happening. And that, that little gray area is called your sense of humor. You, know, you, need to, you need to treat things with a sense of humor. You need to engage in that way. You need to not look at everything as so serious and upsetting and life disturbing. You need to treat everything in a way that it makes better sense. Time for the top five. Number five, be playful. You know, I remember when my children were born, you know, one of the things that I look forward to the most is when I got old enough that I could actually play with them in a meaningful way. And even today with my teenagers, we find ways to play board games or play video games even or build things or do whatever we need to do, work on projects around the house, as silly as that is. As long as we're playful and energetic and doing things with each other, we seem to have these bonds. And I always tell my kids the times that they're going to remember the most are the times that they were playful with each other and playing together or playing with their parents. Those are the memories that they're going to have for later that are just going to drive them through some of the harder times in life. Coming at number four, spend time in nature or with your pets or animals or doing exercise. For me, it's that bike back there. I hop on that echelon and it's like I'm in another world, right? I just pedal away all my I pedal, pedal away all my anxiety, all my stress, all my fear, anything that's inside of there. And it's just a good time for me to get away. Remove yourself from the situation of day-to-day -day stress. Put yourself in a place where there's nature around you or meditate or do whatever it is that you do, but separate yourself from anxiety, which leads me to number three. Just worry less. If you find you worrying about everything, stop worrying. Find a way to distract yourself from the worries and the cares that are happening on your mind. If you spend so much time just focusing on the thoughts in your head and you're just constantly worried about every little thing, 
it's going to cause you so much stress that you're never going to be able to mentally and emotionally be the real person that you're meant to be. You know, stock up on those uh, happy moments. Take that stress out of your life. You know, try to worry less. Try to not focus on all the things that are happening around you in a negative context and focus on all the value the things that are happening around you in a positive context. Coming in at number two, stop watching the news for a little while. Wow. Or disconnect yourself, disengage from most social media, not the Daily Stand Up podcast. But, but you know, get yourself away from some of the negativity. Take yourself away from all those negative vibes and negative thoughts. When you give yourself a break and get away from it all, it's amazing how much better you'll feel. Our family went on a cruise to Australia and we removed ourselves from all the social media and noise and this and that about, you know, things that were happening in the U.S. And we even had people who were on a cruise who were keeping up with news and we weren't. And what we found is that they were more stressed than we were. We were just enjoying ourselves, having a good time, being disconnected. And I think that sometimes that disconnection, there's value there. And I think that sometimes people underestimate the value of disconnecting. Disconnect yourself from public media. Disconnect yourself from the news. Disconnect yourself from all those things that are pervasive in your life that are just persuading you to think differently, that are manipulating you and put yourself in a situation where you can assess things for what they really are. And that's going to make you a lot less stressed. And of course, coming in at number one, my favorite, I tell people this all the time, stop caring about what other people think about you. What other people think doesn't matter. And it sounds so harsh when I say it, but when people tell me, but I feel this way and I say, but I don't care. It's, it's, it's like shedding these shackles. It's like, you know, and, and, and I don't do it always in a negative, hurtful way like I just described, because uh, that's not right. Uh, you know, I'm not encouraging you to break off all emotion. What I am encouraging you to do though is to stop caring so much about what other people think and care more about what you think, right? Whether it's you getting over to fear of being rejected or fear of saying no, or what if people don't like me? You know, you need to get past those things. I wasn't always the most liked person, uh, especially when I was really young. All through grade school, I was probably one of the less liked kids. You know, I, I was always one of the ones to get picked last on the teams or whatever the case may be. I wasn't overly athletic or overly enthusiastic. I was a bit shy. I was a lot awkward. I was very much outgoing uh, and I had no filter. Could you imagine? I was a weird kid, but you know, I didn't care what other people thought about me. I knew that in the end that I was going to be successful and that I was going to climb the ladder. And I think that taking, you know, tying all the way back to Monday's daily Stand Up podcast, I think I took that step up the staircase. I took that first step at a very early age and decided there was only one way to climb and that was up and that I wasn't going to let other people stand in my way. And I didn't care what other people thought about how I, how I operated or what I did. You know, as long as I wasn't being hurtful to them, and as long as I wasn't causing pain or anxiety to others, I needed to focus on who I wanted to be. And that's my promise to you, that if you take these 10 things to heart, that you'll feel so much more free. You'll feel so much less stress. Stop stressing about what others think you should look or appear like. Stop stressing about what others think you should sound or talk like. You know, be the natural you. And I think that when you discover who you really are, you'll fall in love with that person. And that's going to be you know, what you try, what you strive for each and every day to be the best natural you. Well, I'll tell you what, this has been a fun podcast. This has been a great episode. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. As always, we encourage you to tune in next week for more episodes of the Daily Stand Up Podcast. We've got lots of cool surprises coming your way, including some guests, hopefully this week. So we encourage you to stay healthy, stay well, and stay agile, my friends. Until next time, do take care. We'll see you soon.